Yeah, so we continue here with uh, about, for instance, DMT or the drugs that cause you to uh, hallucinate. We have, I mean, each one will have mainly different experiences. You will, for instance, have four or five people that's on DMT or on some hallucinatory drug, but they will not be in each other's minds or have the same beings in their minds. They will have their own story because they plug in at different places in the consciousness, in the energetic framework of the mind. That was heaven. Heaven did not exist until it was created. It's a construct. It was a design. Before that, it was the heavens. It wasn't the heaven like you understand it now between heaven and earth. Heaven and earth is connected where you would go as a soul. It was a complete energetic creation and a design, which in essence was the mind. And it was fueled through plugging the being into the physical, where the being in the physical would then, through an organization, the, the organs, draw energy from the planet, and that energy will then be sent to heaven or harvested by heaven, because the, it's standing, what they say in the Bible, all the, was it the corn or whatever, standing ripe on the field somewhere in the Bible, talk about that, ready for harvest. So they would harvest the energy, and with that they would expand heaven. The point was simplistically that some wanted to be God. And not that they were God before, they just saw the opportunity. They didn't find God anywhere, so they decided that they were not satisfied with the other beings or brothers as their equals. They were not equal, there was great discrepancies, much abuse, and decided to want to be God. So they designed a system within which they will be God, which was the energy system. And the vine, the wine, where you would become overwhelmed with the energy. You will see some of the beings, they'll say, I will now tell you the truth. And they become completely super conscious, believing that they know the answer and they are God and all of that, which is divine. It's divine. It is an intoxication that happens through energy when you are not living here as the physical and you can go, go, go completely into the mind and you have an overload of energy, you have too much energy to your supply, it's like drinking too much alcohol and it takes over completely and you get like alcohol poisoning in a way you are completely poisoned and therefore you become the only god and everything else is a poison and it's a fascinating thing that happens anyway so this infusion has had obviously also another side effect, the side effect being that some of the designs that would be created within the mind would end up as physical things, you know, beds, machines, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they initially existed in the dimensions. And you even had races that specifically worked with particular things, like the Syrians is more into the mechanics, the robotics, for instance, so that from that dimensions, parts of those things ended up being created here on Earth within space-time, which is pretty cool. So, we'll continue with an overview of various aspects of the process thus far in further interviews.